This is Eugene Panrikovich. I'm the Laptop Screen Doc. And the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Today we have a Dell Inspiron 5520 laptop computer. And I'm going to show you how to replace a cracked screen on a Dell Inspiron 5520 laptop computer. Before we do anything with this or any other laptop computer, we want to make it safe to work on and that means disconnecting all sources of power and so that means removing the battery on the back in order to do that we flip the laptop over there's two levers on either side of the battery the locking lever and then the release lever the one on the right is the locking lever we slide it outwards towards the edge of the laptop and then we slide the release lever outwards towards the edge of the laptop also and lift up the battery like so and now once we do that the laptop is safe to work on now also while we are on the bottom I'll show you where to find the model number for this particular laptop it's not easy there's a small label right under the battery and in the middle line next to some Chinese characters we see Inspiron 5520. I'm not sure I can get a good focus, but it says Inspiron 5520 there. And also, under the battery, the first line under the Dell logo says REG model P25F, and you can find the model number from that also. So it's Dell 5520, also known as the P25F. Okay, we flip the laptop over, and usually when the laptop is new, there's a label on the palm rest, either here or here, and that will have the model number for you also. Okay, now let's get to it. In order to get to the screen assembly, we have to remove the screen bezel, and that's the plastic frame around the screen. But before we do that, I'll show you the tools we're going to use for this procedure. We have a PH1 electronics screwdriver. PH stands for Phillips and one is the size. This is the tool that we'll use most of the time. We also have a PH00 electronics screwdriver. That's for smaller screws. We may or may not use this one. A two millimeter flathead screwdriver and that's to pry things open if we need to. A pair of metal tweezers to remove any screws that may be stuck and an X-Acto knife to lift up adhesive tape from the back of the screen. Okay, so let's get started. We're going to snap off the screen bezel. And the way you do that is put your fingertips on the screen side and gently lift upwards and outwards and work your way around the screen. And if you get stuck at any part, just leave that part alone and come back to that part later when it will be easier. So keep working your way around the screen. Now for this particular model there's no screws securing the bezel. For most laptop models there's screws that secure the bezel but not for this one so it makes it easier for us. So we're almost on all the way up and when we're almost done you go on the bottom and we use our PH1 screwdriver to open the seam a little bit on the back on the bottom and the back of the screen so we can lift this bezel out like so okay take your time on this part that's probably the most difficult part of the whole procedure and after that it gets a lot easier okay for this type of screen it's a 15.6 inch LED screen and it's mounted to metal mounting brackets on the side of the screen and there's screws on the side of the screen. As it is right now, we can't get to all of the screws to remove them. So we need to we need to remove some screws to the top so we can tilt the screen forward from the back of the screen assembly so we can get to the screws. And in order to do that, we use our PH1 screwdriver to remove two screws at the top. One and two. And for each set of screws, I like to keep them in a separate pile, and I keep the piles in the order in which I remove them. And that helps me keep track of which screws go where when I put the laptop back together. 
Okay, so what I'm doing right here is testing how far we can move the screen up from the screen assembly to see if we can get to the screws. And it looks like it's far enough. So I'm going to use my PH1 electronic screwdriver. And actually, I take that back. For the bottom screw, we can't quite get to it very well. So we have another trick in this case. And what I do is I loosen the two screws, outer screws on the side. And that helps me tilt the screen assembly a bit more, maybe one or two turns. And what that does is allows me to tilt the screen forward a little bit more from the screen assembly. And that way I can get to the screw on the bottom like so. So we pull one out, and there's four total on each side. And we take each of them out one by one, two, and three, and four. OK, when you're putting the screws back in when you're assembling the laptop, it may be a little bit easier to use the PH00 electronic screwdriver, the smaller one. That way we can get the screws in a little bit easier. So let's try that. Let's see if we can get it in. And we're having a little bit of trouble. So we can get it in like so. It's a little bit easier and it goes in. When, once the bottom one goes in, the second one goes in easier. So we kind of manipulate the screen until all the holes line up and just put it in like this. So that's when you're putting the screen back together. OK, we take those screws out again. And like I said, using the PH00 screwdriver is easier when you're putting the screws back in. OK, same procedure on the other side. Remove the screws one by one and once again start a separate pile for this set of screws two and three and four okay like i showed you on the other side there's a small piece of metal on this side that you have to get the screw in too so what you do is, when you're putting the laptop back together, get this screw in first, and then this screw is a lot easier to get in after that. OK, and when you're doing this whole thing, make sure that the screen assembly is tilted back a little bit, so when you remove all the screws, the screen doesn't fall forward on you. OK, next thing we want to do is there's a small piece of adhesive tape that's holding the webcam assembly to the screen assembly. And we want to. Uh, use our X-Acto knife or even our fingernail to lift up that adhesive tape so the screen can tilt forward. Once we do that, we gently tilt the screen forward and see if anything's getting stuck. And right away we see that the webcam cable is attached to the back of the screen. So we kind of use our thumb to lift the webcam cable away from the screen assembly. And then we can put the screen down like so. Once we do that, we see that there's one connector on the back of the screen. And all we have to do is remove this connector to remove the screen. So we use our X-Acto knife or even your fingernails to lift up the adhesive tape that's holding this connector assembly to the screen like so. And also, there's some adhesive on the back of the video cable that we have to lift up. So we gently lift that up. And once we do both those things, we gently slide the connector out like so. OK, before we go any further, I'm going to show you how to reconnect this connector. We slide it back in. And when we slide it back in, you'll you feel but not hear two clicks. That means the connector is properly engaged. And next, let's get a close-up of the connection and get a good focus. OK. Pause the video right there. There should not be a gap in the seam between the two sides of the connection. The two sides of the connection should be flush with each other. This is a good connection.
All right, let's keep moving. We slide the connector out once more, and we take a look at this screen. This is a 15.6 inch LED screen. As of late 2012, it's the most common screen that goes into laptops. And let's take a look at the part number that you need. The part number that you're looking for is LP156WH4. LP156WH4. That's the part number that you're looking up. Now, we at Screen Surgeons also have this screen available for sale. And what you get with us is a two-year warranty on the screen. If something goes wrong with the screen other than accidental damage, we'll replace it with no charge for two years. We have free email technical support. So when installing the screen, if you run into problems, send us email and we'll help you along. The exact same toolkit that I used for this video comes for free with the screen. So you get it when you buy the screen for free. And also we ship from warehouses on the East Coast and on the West Coast. So if you choose ground shipping, you'll get your screen in three days or less in for most United States addresses. And if you live outside of the United States, we ship to most countries around the world. To order the screen from us, uh, go to www.screensurgeons.com. There will be a short form for you to fill out with the laptop model. And then we'll guide you to the right screen to buy online. And then you just go through the online checkout and buy the screen. OK, once you do get the new screen in, Connected as I showed you, mounted in the metal brackets, put the screws in as I showed you, starting with the bottom and going to the top. Tighten the two screws on the side, and then snap the screen bezel back on, and that should be it. Okay, that's it. Thank you very much. Once again, my name is Eugene Panrutkovich. I'm the laptop screen doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Thank you and good luck.